Uh, let's see. We already got the weapon modding perk that I wanted. Let's keep working on first aid for her. I figure just maxing that out seems seems like a good idea. Eventually, we'll get her a weapon that is not weird garbage. Worst comes to worst, I'd spec into sniper rifles. Hey, what the hell is going on up there? I can't go two minutes without some mooks beating on each other. None of your business. Look away. Sorry. Never mind. Eh. All right, so let's go heal up. Uh, we got drinks. Dancing, You're right. I didn't. I didn't grab the You're safe poison. in the clone fight area. I forgot I didn't have the uh, lock picking skill. Now I do. So we'll go back. Let's see. Three out of ten is not worth revisiting. It's good, but not great. I might do it if I got some free time. I don't know beyond that. I kind of wish it was just one of those that uh, you had the option of just not playing it at all, and it was just a, a, you could just select like, just cutscenes only, and that would have been lovely. Because that would have been fine for just like watching, what, six episodes of a, a kind of quirky TV show as like a quote unquote let's play. That, that would actually be really relaxing. But now, just just in general, I have the hardest time with uh, I have the hardest time with episodic content. If I have to wait to record like the next part for some arbitrary time lock, it just makes it impossible would for me to keep up with. Then we have a quest to turn in those meds. Come we did. On, I'm question. my. Right, I might ignore that one for at least a little while. Oh. I got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 collection. I think I'm going to get to that tonight. But that'd be kind of fun. The main thing is I feel weird turning in the drugs to the guy. Because I'm supposed to be the lawman. As long as you don't use them by mistake in that case. I almost never use drugs in video games. Just purely out of... I, I guess my own personal values where it's just like, nope. Just don't... Just don't do drugs. Okay. Let's so swing by the dock. You think that chicken is edible? Or will we be picking wires out of our teeth? I kind of wish, for dialogue like that, the random characters would just have a retort sometimes. What do you anyway, need, so Rangers? Fix of me course. up. Have a seat. Yeah, I could just use my medical supplies, but if it ain't cut, don't. St easy for me to just go back. At least for now. Eventually, we're gonna have to use healing items. It'd be lovely if there was like a very slow HP regen Those out of combat. Are weird. And considerably less healing items. Just because I'm a lazy man. It's kind of hard to tell what are actual meds and what are meds in games sometimes. I. <laughs> I had that problem in the Fallout games, and so I just used stim packs, which I'm pretty sure weren't great either, because I think you ran into a couple of NPCs that were addicted to them. Uh, but I I specifically just only used stim packs, stim packs, and just stayed the heck away from everything else. Actually, really, truly, the other reason why I don't use drugs in video games is because they're always worth so dang much. So I will often <laughs> sell them to the general store, because everybody will just buy it, because there's no real you know, there's no drug authority saying no. Man, I'm having the worst time staying focused today. There's just... It's not even that there's anything on my mind. I'm just, like, not here. That's why I started streaming so early. I was, I was starting to just zone out. It's like, eh... I should probably not do that. Is what it is. 
I think I think the biggest problem I do run into, especially with CRPGs like this, is the run times. Area transitions are inconvenient. And the more time I spend just crossing the map, the easier it is for me to just lose focus. Especially this year. Like, I, I've been having the worst time keeping my head in the game. Where normally, any other year, I would just be able to cleanly do whatever the heck I, I want and, you know, just commentate through it. This is the one year where I'm just like, there's just shit on my mind and it sucks. Because I wish I could just, like, shut that part of me uh, off for the afternoon and just say, nope, today's going to be the day I do Wasteland. But I had a absolutely brilliant idea for a CRPG campaign last night. Brilliant, I don't know, it's an idea I had a long time ago. But I was like, oh wait, no, I could actually use this for the campaign setting, it would work really well. Okay, let's save and talk to Charlie Nose. Hello again. Everybody is shouting. We know you took Delgado into the back rooms, we need to get in there. Well, ain't you a clever seed of red hats. But let's not be rash here, yeah? The only way you're getting past that door is through a hail of bullets. And no one wants that. Right? Look, it wasn't Mr. Brigo who conspired with the Dorseys. He's not that stupid. But a little bird told me it was someone in our organization. I can give you a name. All you gotta do is prove this guy was acting on his own. What's in this for you? Way I see it, everybody wins. You get your culprit, and we don't get in trouble with the law. Once you clear Mr. Brigo's name, I'm sure he'll release Delgado. It makes sense. Tell us where to find this guy. Look for our man McTavish at the machine shop near Pillory Square. I don't care what you do to him. But if you can come back and prove the rest of us weren't involved, I'm sure we can make a deal. Yeah? Also, I didn't tell you this, Red Hats. Until next time, Red Hats. Oh, man, I love dancing in this place. It's the best. It is kind of tempting to just attack these people. Just go, like... Full gunman, but I feel like that would have consequences down the line. I'm not even sure if it would be faster. I just want all that EXP. That's the real sticking point that I, I'm working around here. It's like, I just, I want to level up faster. You know, you're supposed to say the, you didn't get this from me before you give the information normally, right? I, yeah. I think the thing is the guy figured he was, uh, he was negotiating from a stronger position of having better guns, which, like, maybe is true, but kind of unlikely. Okay, machine shop's over here. Check me out. Thanks so much for ensuring we got this shipment of power armor. <laughs> what kind of pansy ass needs power armor for walking the beat? Wow. Sure. Hey, fuck you. Our job is tough. Those shit stirring refugees are breeding all the time, so someone's got to do some population control. Sure as hell ain't you. Anyway, these refugee vermin aren't going to punch themselves. Thanks again, Rangers. What the hell? Now I'm regretting get, getting them the power armor. Holy shit, those guys suck. You were born, Pacer? Look at who's acting like he's all wise and shit. I remember you when you were young enough to be afraid of your own shadow. Ah, oh, come on. Don't ruin my rhythm like that. This who's the guy I'm supposed to be looking for? McTavish at the machine shop downtown. Another old movie? Oh, I swear to God, I'm gonna beat you with your own leg. McTavish?
Who the hell is McTavish? Car's a lot like an old dog sometimes. It won't learn new trick. What can I do for you? You take care now. Tell I wish poetry was still being taught Need help? in schools. Oh, talk to Jimmy Longhall. There we go. Aren't you a sight? Oh, there's a separate area. Uh, okay. Your pill. Oh. Oh, this area. I know where that is. Okay. I've totally forgotten about it because we weren't allowed to go there earlier. Okay. Let's see. Wonder would you recommend I play Wasteland 2? I've actually never played Wasteland 2, but from what I heard, it was pretty dang good. Also, wonder how do you feel about uh, Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access being the full price of a AAA game and it's not much XP? Oh, X XP for killing the guys. Got it. That's what you meant. Personally, I'm fine with it. From what I know about Baldur's Gate 3's uh, early access is it's 25 hours long, which is more than most AAA games are, and it's guaranteed to have more substantive content. And also, I know it's Larian Studios who have been in this business forever, so as far as pedigree goes, it's not bad. It's definitely one of those where it's like, I still wouldn't recommend it to a lot of people unless you want to dive into that early access version, and I, I would recommend you know playing Wasteland 3 instead. Uh, just because Wasteland 3 is, is done, or Divinity Original Sin 1 or 2, because they're done and great. Uh, but if you can't wait, that 60 bucks is fine. I think that's when it comes, when it comes down to it, I'm so used to early access games being full price that it doesn't bother me anymore. Uh, and ultimately, I'm starting to see early access as, as an incredibly optional thing. Kind of like a Kickstarter, where it's just like, just don't get it. I still am starting oh, to hate look. early access. This time the marshal sent substitutes to shake us down. Well, you stand-ins get one warning. Fuck off, or get fucked up. I just want to talk to McTavish. Yeah? Well, McTavish doesn't want to talk to you. And you just used up your one warning. Fuck him up, boys. Who let you fucks in? High armor enemies, got it. Tonka. So Tonka is the only one that actually took a lot of damage. Now we got to get around a lot of this stuff. I... This should not work. But it works well enough. Now let's get him behind cover. Harm. It's got an explosive barrel there. Thug, thug, thug. Not too many people. A lot of them are pretty weak, too. Let's go mess this guy up. Nova. Let me get both of them. No chance to hit, though. Okay, Lucy has already done what she needs to. 
So if him roll back. Shoot the dog. That'll be it. I hate the fact that they just have a dog sound effect looping constantly. I... Living here has been really uncomfortable for me because we have a lot of neighbors with really poorly trained dogs that they do not, like, give nearly enough, um... Wow, we're just taking no damage from these guys. It's really... Sadly, poorly trained dogs. Shop foreman. Goodbye, head. Uh, it's tragic, but it's also, I just hear barking constantly, like every day. And it is just a little much for me. Switch back to this. Got terrible chance of hitting. Alternatively, amazing chance of hitting. If I hit the explosive barrel, it's not not gonna do me any good. It's a decent shot. Your, your Yorkie doesn't know how to shut up. As long as you're not leaving it outside for hours on end, it doesn't really matter much to me. I just all of my neighbors are like, hey, we've got a chihuahua that is truly never never trained and will just like growl or bark at anybody. Ow. Let's leave it outside for the whole day. It's like, no, don't do that. Okay, go hit hit this thug? Sure. And then a thundering strike. Does that get him up from behind cover? No, it does not. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Oh, and it's 4 AP to reload. Gosh. I like the idea of the Rainwave Destabilizer. Functionally, not super worth it for me. For that skull. Okay. Turret is no longer hacks. Third is no longer hacked. Right. My last well, that was easy. Holy shit, Tonka. Okay, melting capacitor, scrap, bunch of goodies, including a focusing crystal. Ah, oh, nothing interesting. Let's see, does gear change as you equip it? Do you mean, like, uh, your aesthetics? Because yes. Uh, let's see. Go disable that generator. Ooh. Machine shop chest, pants, and helmet. Which is extra mechanics. Okay, so we just found Tonka's armor set. Alright, who needs the hat then? I like Harm's helmet. I guess I'll give I guess I'll give her this one. Right, that increases her HP too, which is pretty good. Alright, is anybody else in need of equipment? I think everybody else actually has pretty good stuff. Yep, everybody has sufficient pants. Everybody is good. Alright, nope, not you. Back to Tonka. Disable this generator. I like the horned helmet. Me too. It. I hope we don't... <laughs> 5 EXP for that. The thing's already dead, but that doesn't matter. Oh, there's a container in the back. Gimme. It's mine. What is it? Eh, it's goodies. Alright, lockpicking impossible. We got somebody on the other side. 
Intercom is caked in grime. It hasn't been cleaned in years. Press the button. Hello, big ass. I saw assholes at shop, my boys. Well, I'm not looking for a bullet in the face, so you can fuck right the hell off. Come on, McTavish. Don't make us break down this door. Oh, wait, don't. Goons are cheap. My good daughters are replaceable. All right, come in. But I'm no helpless in here. I'm warning you. Where can you? You're the ones who survived the Dorsey ambush. You killed Isaac Reed and his rich kid pals. You're bloody ruthless. Bollocks. I'm screwed. Wow. Wait, does he have plaid hair? Or a helmet? What the hell's even going on with this guy? You seem to know a lot about what happened to us. Did you set us up? Help set us up? What? No, I didn't know how I did with that. I just, uh, I just heard a bit of it. Oh, okay. You got ten seconds to tell us who let the Dorseys into the city. Ten seconds? But I don't know what you're talking about. Just leave me alone. Don't you know I'm under Farm Brago's protection? You can't touch me. Really? So if we shoot you now, Brygo's gonna jump out of nowhere and stop her bullets. We want to see that. Huh? No, I, I mean, if you shoot me, then he's gonna... gonna... Ah, what all of this shit? This ain't fair. Everybody shuts on me, everybody. Okay, okay. Looks like you got me at a disadvantage, so let's make a deal, eh? You push flaps drop me enough to skip tune, and I'll tell you what I can. You don't need all that to get out of town. Walking's free. How about some money instead? Why are you haggling with me now? Give me a break. I should... da ah, balls. Okay, I'll take it. Tune's getting out hot anyway. Okay, yeah, I let the Dorseys in the city, and I'm glad I did. At least I could do after the patriarch put me in the pillories. Asshole throws my bloody face off. I got a career where my nose should be. Of course I wanted some revenge, wouldn't you? I bet you get colds more often than you used to. Ah, oh, the time! How'd you know that? Here's your nose help stop germs from getting into your system. You got no nose and no hair, so nothing stops them anymore. Bloody hell, that's another thing the Patriarch owes me for my health! Uh, damn, what did you do to deserve permanent disfigurement? I know, right? No, no, we're literally, we're asking you what? Literally, did you do to deserve losing your nose and ears? Oh, I, well, I was buying some wholesale medicine for Gaji when all of a sudden, the marshal jumped out of nowhere and grabbed me. Say I'm buying me intent to sell or some shit. I tried to tell him, I'm no selling it. I'm getting out of while with every purchase of an oil change at my shop, but the bar bags can't see the difference, so they dragged me after the pillories. I mean, I busted for charity, I ask you. 99% sure those guys took me by and sold it themselves too. Fucking marshals, they should stay on the inside of the law. You saying the marshals are corrupt? <laughs> are you kidding me? There's a bear shot in the woods. Of course the marshals are corrupt. They work for the patriarch, don't they? And he's the most corrupt tally washer than I. You think he's the great feather who takes care of the people of Colorado? Ah, that's shite. He takes care of the people who take care of him. That's it. Now the rest of us peons are just here to keep the machines running. That's why I ended up working for Brago. Now, he's a crook too, but he doesn't pretend he's no. No like some people I could name. So, to get revenge on the Patriarch, you let the Dorseys pillage the town and murder dozens of innocent civilians. 
I didn't know that's what they were going to do. I just thought they were going to kill Buchanan. Did Brigo have anything to do with the Dorsey attack? What? No, no way. Why would they think that? Mr. Bragg would not have with us nothing. Okay, heard what enough. What are you going to do with me? Yeah, a lot of folks who want you dead. You're safest in custody. Custody, you hoors! Didn't I tell you what you had to know, you fucking love it, the same! Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. We've detained McTavish. Notify the marshals to come pick him up in the machine shop. Copy that, Team November. I'll let the sheriff know she needs to make an arrest. What a voice actor. Holy shit. I... That was... I am 99% certain that was a, a legit... Oh, for Clan McTavish eyes only. Away and bow your head, you walnut. Wow. Note to McTavish. Okay. So these are important. <coughs> the name's McTavish. And I'm for Glasgow way. Shit. That's not it. Lick me. Ball bag. Sod af. You wee. Cunt. Go on, by all your heed, you jammy git. Hey, you've a face like a scalp to hurt you, Dobar. Aye, that'll do. Huh. Archive. What about the note to McTavish? Oh, can we not check that? So he's fake. Read. M. I know you have your reasons, but don't do this. Helping the Dorseys to get back at the Patriarch will hurt, hurt your business and mine. And you do not want to hurt my business. Last warning, B. So he knew. Oh. Oh. Copy the Bard's Tale computer game for the Apple. Okay, miscellaneous. So we've got a uh, brawling by one, automatic by weapons by one, explosives by one. Ooh. Let's take a look at harm. How close are you to... Well, yeah, so the final level costs more. So I want to wait until we're close to max before I invest in any of those. Yeah, so he had a fake Scottish accent. Uh, let's see, do we really want them to take him away and not a ranger? Uh, I figured since he did crimes against Colorado Springs instead, that was fine. For somebody other, somebody else that's like more mission critical, then I would trust somebody else instead, if that makes any sense. Of course, if he got assassinated, that's a separate thing, but really, he's not that important. All we know is that he's the one that let the Dorseys into town, and we know that Brygo knew about it, and we have a note. So, even if we had taken, them in, taken him in, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have immediately mattered, and it still doesn't matter apart from if I want to be contentious against the Marshals. And I don't care right now. Now, other characters... I will probably arrest myself. But I figure with him, he's he's an easy gimme. Would you rather freeze to death or burn? You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Oh, come on, answer the question. All right, all right. Burn. You're gone faster, and free cremation so your family saves a few bucks on the funeral. Drowned in child okay, so let's go up here. Uh, okay. Nice job getting McTavish off the streets, Rangers. Got any other good news for me?
Hmm. McTavish confessed to working with the Dorseys, but he said he was working alone. This confer this letter confirms his story. Let me see that. Hmm. Who? Huh. Brago wrote this? That means he knew what McTavish was planning, and he didn't tell a soul. Knowing about an attack on the city and keeping your mouth shut? That's treason. Oh, he got him. Rangers, you've got my full support to haul that bastard in, or shoot him dead. Either way, it's fine by me. And don't forget about poor Delgado. Oh, and thanks for sending McTavish out way. Glad I can rely on you folks to be neighborly. Peace. Roger that. All right. Let's go back. Uh, do we want to go heal real quick? You know what? For the sake of the... I mean, yeah, I'm down by a couple of HP points. Let's keep working on barter. Oof, that's getting pricey. Ooh. Are there any good barter perks? Junk items have a 5% chance of being sold for 50 times their value. Shit, yeah? Considering how much just utter trash that I'm I'm carrying around with me. Oh gosh, those lips in chat are making me actually uncomfortable. <laughs> I do not I come from the I mean, I'm I'm sure a number of people in chat come from the same era as me, but like, emojis straight up didn't exist when I was growing up, and so I've never quite gotten used to them. Especially the ones where it's an emoji made out of multiple emoji, and it's just weird. It also does not help that I personally have actually banned all emojis from my uh, from my YouTube comments because porn bots have been using them. Heavily. And I figure the easiest way for me to cut down on porn bots is by just getting rid of emoji entirely, and it's worked. The food you're feeding us is gonna cause a mutiny. I'd hire a cook if I was you. Whatever happened to the lady that was just hanging out on the light post? What do you she need, just like peace out. I'll Bash do it. Me up. Have a seat. I won't. But yeah, so like, for me, emojis were added kind of at the tail end of me really chatting with people heavily on the internet as a kid. And so like, I never built up the, uh, I never built up the habit for it. So yeah, I, I, I've made my own and those work. But a lot of the, like, really weird ones that people use, like, the OWO stuff, yeah. It's just weird for me, and I don't like it. Especially the OWO, because I can hear that in my head when I read it too much. And so, like, people were spamming that incessantly in chat for a while, and I had to, like... Well, I had to put my foot down, because it's just like, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Please don't do that. I will do so again if people people actually decide to do do so as well. Not that it that's like really needs to be said too much. Okay. So now Oh right, she got a stat point. I was She's got a couple of points in strength, yeah? Three. We could go for a little bit more. Awareness is okay. Okay, let's go over here. Wait. Did... Leveling her... Oh. Wait, she... Oh, she still has one skill point. But that's... That's normal. Alright, I'm... I'm feeling pretty good. At some point we're gonna fault. sell all of these and it's going to be glorious. Yeah. 
Did you ask your wife about your uh, concerns about her ability? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on, man. Okay. So little thing. Vegas again. Was... Time to shoot up the place. I mean, not everyone. Whew, that's enough just looking down at my phone. In fact, I'm just going to put my phone... I'm going to toss it away from me. Just look down. Bad he headlines. I hate this year. It's so rough. It's just... It's like so many great games, so many fun things going on, and just... Ugh, don't like it. Anyway, let's uh, do terrible things to these people. Oh, there, Red Hats. What's the rush, huh? Why don't you tell your old pal Charlie what you found out from McTavish? You're right. He led the door season in the city and he act said he acted alone. Well done, Red Hats. Thing is, maybe I made it sound like I could get you into the back, but I can't without Mr. Brigo say so. Go talk to him. Tell him what you found out, and I'm sure he'll be open to a deal. Uh, don't mention me, though. Thanks. So, uh, what'd you do to that poor bastard, McTavish? Why don't you go look and find out? Now, why would you be like that to your good pal, Charlie? All right, all right. I'll head to the machine shop and clear up any mess you left. Nothing but a favor between friends. You should go on upstairs and talk to Mr. Brigo. See you later, Red Hats. Is he actually going outside? The damn fool. Oh, 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 oh I man, caught you I love dancing in this place. We're just friends. A quick save. We're going to go talk to Shakes. Yeah, any luck? Did you have my five rhino and five focus? Nope. Please, hurry! What you did was even worse. It wasn't yeah, I'm not going to do, do his quest. You okay. Right, let's go convoy? talk to Mr. Brigo. Oh my God! Tell me everything. Oh. Oh, Rangers. I get the feeling this isn't a social call. I understand you had a little talk with McTavish. And I want you to know I'm as appalled as you are that he let the Dorseys into the city. He served me well. But, well, he's always been an idiot. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? How do you know what McTavish told us? In my profession, you can't be too trusting with new friends. I uh, had you follow. It won't happen again. Come with us. We're arresting you for holding Marshal Delgado prisoner against his will. That's what you think. Ugh, come on, Capos. Show them how we do it in Vegas. When you've been spotted by an enemy, each ranger in your squad has a chance to take a first combat turn. Higher initiative stat, increasing that chance. To get a higher initiative, increase your speed and sneaky shit skill. Oh, we're starting with Big Daddy. Okay. That's a couple of options. So I can set these suckers on fire. Oh. I thought I had had more AP than this. Alright, it's fine. Ow. You can't shoot me now, coppers! Because I think we have chemistry together. Okay, so this is going to hurt a bit. Down from above. Uh, 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 uh. 
Well, that went poorly. Let's think about this one. Here, let's um, let's load, load game. Let's load this auto save. I think, I think we want to do some other things. Uh, mainly, I could have done that better. One problem is chances are we're not going to get Big Daddy to go first again. But I think I'm going to seed my units around the room before I even talk to him. Yeah, come back later? No, 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 no. I'll deal with him now. I'm just not going to have all my units stacked up in front of him. Because he does a shit ton of damage. And there's a lot of dudes in the room. And there's there's just a couple of things that I can do to make this a bit better. I, I am absolutely a save scummer. I just wish the load times weren't so long. The load times are... Uh uncomfortable.